able to hear some mechanical noises in the distance. There's um, a power company putting up some, or fixing some of the, the poles. Let me move up, we're gonna get this female in front of us. Everyone, I could spend the whole day with elephants indeed. Very, very special animals. Oh, hello, little Nini. Oh, don't run away, Nini. Bless you, Darby. Was it a hiccup? Nice big girl there. Morgan, two degree. Depends on the time of year. Around water, when water's scarce, elephants don't normally tolerate anybody. But um, they have a bubble around them that some days allow animals to get closer and other days they have no tolerance at all for them. They're big, and they're powerful and they can chase anybody away. Here in the road we've got our female from earlier. is about to come out and join her there. Maybe. Christopher, their skin's pretty good. He's too cool. He's hanging at the back, showing us how big and strong he is. Feeding on the silver cluster leaf. Yeah, we're going to catch up with our Eddies and send you over to Trish, who's on a bumble. Now I'm trying to catch up with an Impala herd that I see a little further on, on that side of the clearings here. So we're going to take this, this right and see if we can catch up with them. I've been really enjoying spending my time with Impalas lately.
they have been entertaining, to say the least. There's a particularly nice open patch further ahead that tends to have nice greenery. Ah, that's where they are. Oh, let's say hi to you first, please, little squirrel. Hopefully it'll pop back up. Oh, there we go. Hi, cutie. What have you got there? I'm a ruler nut. No doubt. Do you see where the hole is? That hole there? It's already obviously picked the nut out of there, but there's two that it can do that for. It's only done once. Maybe we'll be able to actually watch it do the second side. Is that the right spot? I think it's already gotten in. Oh yes, definitely having a great time there with that marula nut. These nuts are a delicacy, not just for squirrels. <laughs> that was so cute. But for humans too. Yes, we are human. Apparently they're very, very tasty. But it's so difficult to get those nuts out of the seed. But squirrels obviously are able to. I see a mischief maker just out in front on that log. Don't hide now. It's a vervet monkey. Somewhere, oh, there we go, at the top. There we go. Oh, good morning, Velvet Monkey. Have you just come from camp? I returned home from camp. I mean, returned home from drive one morning. I think it was two mornings ago. Yeah, two mornings ago. And I noticed a familiar box outside of my room. It was a Nurofen, um you know, like a Nurofen box. I mean, yeah, painkiller box. And it had been chewed and the Nurofen eaten, eaten by the velvet monkeys. But the thing is, they got into my room and that's all they took. I even had a granadilla there that they could have taken, but no, they went for Nurofen instead. Well, I guess if they had a headache or any other types of pain, they could have uh, gotten some relief that way. Can you see what it's actually doing? It's trying to pick the bark. It's trying to eat this, the cambium that elephants eat. It's slightly sugary, the cambium, so it makes sense that they'd also want to go after it. An interesting stance there. What also you see on many trees is sap. Hi, Bernie Lulu. You'd like to know what's the difference between monkeys and baboons? Baboons are also monkeys. Monkey is a, gra is a broad group. So if you want to identify a monkey, it usually has a tail. That's an easy way to identify it. So a baboon is a type of monkey. It's not, a, it's not a separate category on its own. Whereas if 
you want to think of, if you want to separate monkeys and apes, those are two different things. But baboons are monkeys, not apes. Apes don't have tails. Or at least that's an easy way to tell them apart. There's other, lots of other differences, but they don't have tails. Chakma baboons are pretty much the largest monkey. Mandrels can be larger, but not by very much. So imagine a baboon being a different, different size class of monkey, as opposed to being a totally different category of animal. Oh, cool, you can see the Impala walked in the background there as well. I love how curious they are, despite that they go into my room and steal. But they're still very cute. Do you dream of an African holiday in unparalleled luxury? Where your days are spent in the company It seems that our vervet monkey has very, very quickly skipped away. But what we'll do is we'll try and reposition, see if we'll be able to see any others, because they're usually in a troop, it's not just one roaming around, so there must be others. Oh, vervet monkey. I'll keep an eye out for them. But for now we can have a look at some very healthy looking Impala Rams. I love this particularly open part of quarantine. I think it would be great as a cricket ground. Hi, Kasten. You'd like to know why don't we see many honey badges? We do see honey badges. The thing is that we, it's very difficult to get them on camera. And that's because they move quickly out of the way and they detect that you're coming far before you can. So I've seen them in the day, but it's more frequent that we see them at night. And being a creature that roams around at night, their senses are a bit more acute than ours during that time, so they can tell when we're coming along. But I have seen them quite a few times around. It's just that we don't manage to get them on camera very often because by the time we've seen them, they've seen us and they're, they're now getting away from us and we're trying to catch up with them. 
but it certainly does happen. It's just a matter of getting them on the screen. A couple of us have succeeded, but it's usually quite a short sighting. I remember having one at the hyena den early at the morning, or uh, early in the morning, close to the hyena den, and it was busy um, digging around the trees. That was very, very cool. But I myself, I love honey badgers. I think that they're such cool animals, so many defenses. They've also got um, a very cute face. I like the black and white coloration, makes them look like they have an awkward bowl haircut that I find endearing. Look how nice that is. I love when they move together tightly and their horns are all, you know, in a sim on a similar plane. They just look so beautiful. They're really good and healthy rams here. I'm sure it's just a matter of time before they branch out and find their respective territories. Because the rat will really be winding down winding down very much in these next few weeks. Much like ourselves, not winding down our rut, but just winding down our sunrise safari. It's that time of the day where we get to go to have some breakfast and you go on with your day. We'd like to thank you all.